Gabriel Piguero, and you're watching the Palm Beach Maritime Academy News, Elementary Edition. With me are my co-hosts, Jordan Ignosa and Megan Uli. Megan, would you update us on the dress down passes? I'd be happy to, Daria. We started giving our dress down passes last week. We will continue to give them weekly to recognize students who have shown us what the weekly character's church should look like. Remember that the dress down passes are only good on Friday and that the clothes must be school appropriate. Who gives out the dress down passes, Megan? Each classroom teacher can give out up to two passes per week, Daryl. Administrators and other staff members can give them out anytime they see a student who is really showing the character trait of the week. That's fabulous, Megan. Jordan, what story do you have for our viewers? I have news on spring break camp. It starts on March 16th. Camp will be from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. Application and the $150 fee is due by Friday. March 6th, Ms. Davids, our after care director, can give you an application. Thanks, Jordan. And by the way, what's this I hear about students jumping around? That's right, Daryl. Jump rope for hearts and hoops began on February 9th and continues through February 20th. It helps us realize the importance of being physically fit and helps raise funds for cardiovascular research. What does cardiovascular mean, Jordan? Remember how we learned about the circular, circulatory and respiratory system in science? Cardiovascular is about those systems and how blood is pumped by the heart through the lungs where it receives fresh oxygen, then onto all the body cells. Thank you, Jordan. Megan. Can you update us on what's happening in third grade? Certainly, there is. The third graders researched and wrote about animals, then took a trip to the zoo. Now they are writing newspaper articles about what they saw and learned. The newspaper articles will include interviews, illustrations with captions and maps. Wow, Megan. They've been busy. There's more, Daryl. They are planning an in-school field trip about sharks and fossils. They have learned about fractions and made fraction pizzas to decorate the halls in science. They have just finished up their study of energy and are moving to on to states of matter. They are also learning about the constitution and states. Thanks, Megan. All that makes me want to know more. J Jordan, I hear that we're doing pennies for pasta again. That's right, Daryl. The class that collects the most change will win a pasta party. Why are we collecting the change? We are collecting money for leukemia and leukemia research, but both diseases are types of cancer. Thank you, Jordan. Megan, do you have an update for first grade? I surely do, Daryl. The first graders have learned to tell time by the hour and half hour. They are learning about earth and objects in the sky and are learning to use scientific instruments. In social studies, they are learning about American monuments. For example, President Washington has the Washington Monument and President Lincoln has the Lincoln Monument both of which are in Washington, D.C. They also have a field trip coming up to, to a movie in Wellington. Hmm, I think it would be fun to be a first grader. Jordan, tell the viewers about the upcoming Lake Worth Street Painting Festival. With pleasure, Daryl. The 21st annual Lake Worth Street Painting Festival is the weekend on February 21st and 22nd. Our middle school students in the in environmental club and various teachers will be par participating. We will be in the area of Lake and K Street if you want to support our school. That sounds awesome. Megan, I hear we have a special day coming. Yes, we do, Daryl. Friday, February 27th, PBMA Elementary is going to Crazy Sock Day. Be sure to wear your craziest socks on this special day. That's all the news for now. I'm Daryl Pagaro. I'm Jordi Hinojosa. And I am Megan Latte. Go, Go out and, and make, make it a good day. day.